Okay, so welcome back everybody. Today we are gonna talk about some different software and technologies that we use here in our shop for your Caterpillars, Detroits, Cummins, Volvo, pretty much everything out there that we have come through our shop. After that, uh, we're gonna kind of discuss some different options and go over what is the best tool for your situation, whether you're a one man owner operator all the way up to on-site service type person or a brick and mortar shop like we are here. So uh, stay with me to the end of the video and we'll go over those options. Okay guys, so if you're new to the channel, my name's Ryan and I own and operate a commercial truck and trailer shop in Canton, Ohio. I've been a mechanic for 20 plus years on trucks and heavy equipment and also I've been an owner operator slash truck driver as well. We put out a lot of videos on trucking business and on maintenance and repairs to help you out there on the road or wherever you may be. If you're interested in these topics, please subscribe. So if you're new to the trucking business and heavy equipment, the technology is everything these days. Everything is went to, to cans, ECMs, ACMs, transmission, computers, everything's electronic wiring. And you almost have to have something to diagnose these problems. A lot of trucks, they'll come up with fault and they won't even tell you what it is. So you basically have to pull it into a dealer or somebody that has these types of equipment to find out even what's wrong with your truck or piece of equipment or whatever you're working on. So I use several different things. I found that just one tool I mean, if you're running a shop like we do, working on all makes and models for the most part, different engines, air brake systems, one tool is, in my opinion, not enough. So I have a wide array of tools at my disposal. Because sometimes one will work, I and mean, it might be the most expensive tool that I have, it won't do the job, and I use the cheapest one, and it will do the job for some reason. That's just the way, the way it works sometimes. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna talk about what I have here on the table, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the most expensive item that I have here on the table. And this would be the Snap-on ProLink Edge computer here. This one does everything from light medium trucks, so it'd do like Chevy 3500 pickup truck all the way up to your W900 Kenworth, whatever's out there on the road, it does everything. I really like this unit because it's all self-contained, it's hardened, and it actually, it charges off of the truck as well. So no laptop needed if you drop it. Theoretically, it shouldn't hurt it. I'm not going to go out there and drop it intentionally because I have about $12,000 or so in this unit. But this does everything. So here's everything that I have installed in this, which I have the whole master package. That's why it would cost so much for this unit. We've got Allison transmissions, Bendix ABS. We've got CAT, Acert, and electronic engines, Cummins. Detroit for the older Series 60s, you know, like your D-Deck 2 through 5 and then your later 06 to, to 16 engines. You get Eaton ABS, Haldex ABS, Hino International, light medium trucks, Mercedes-Benz, Wabco, Navistar, Packard, PSI. I don't, don't have the license for that, but Wabash trailers, Volvo Mac, and uh, Wabco ABS hydraulic as well. So a lot of stuff on here, so a lot of versatility, all in one compact unit and all self-contained and that's I really like this. Okay now I know this is Snap-on. Those of you that watch me you know I am kind of a Snap-on fanatic. Uh, there is a reason why I went with this computer over other companies out there. If you didn't know Snap-on owns a lot of other technology companies. Mainly the biggest one out there to probably think of is Next IQ. They actually write a lot of the software four different companies. They actually do Detroit and Freightliner diagnostic links. So they actually create and write Detroit software or the diagnostic software anyways. So right now I actually have Detroit diagnostics link that I purchased through my Freightliner dealer and I'm paying almost $1,900 a year license fee for that. So this, the Snap-on ProLink Edge here, basically has the exact same Detroit software with all the technology that I'm paying $1,800 for this doesn't have a license. This was a one-time purchase. After that, there's no annual license. So next year, I'm probably going to drop my diagnostic link software after my license expires because I have the same software, basically, in the Snap-on ProLink Edge unit here. So, and I'm kind of going that way with a lot of my things, with a lot of my programs and, and all that stuff kind of discussed as we go down the road here a little bit further. 
Okay, next we have a jaw test by Kajali. They're a Spanish company. It is a laptop based program. That's why I just have the comm adapter sitting here. A lot of things I like about it, a couple things I don't like about it. So when I first started my business as a mobile on-site service business, we didn't really know if we were gonna go towards trucks, if we were gonna go towards heavy equipment, towards ag equipment. So I was kind of looking for something with a lot of versatility. You know, like I said, when you're starting the new business, you don't really know which direction you're gonna go, what customer base you're gonna dive into or how things are gonna catch on. So the reason I went with Jaw Test is because it is a multi-brand, it works on everything. It works on, like I said, trucks, heavy equipment, agricultural equipment, it's pretty good with John Deere for ag equipment, everything pretty much. So that's why I went with Jaw Test, I went all in. We spent like $12,000 on different cords for everything. We got like 50 different cords, I, think, I mean, not literally, but like close to 50. Some of the cords, you know, they're, they're two, three, four hundred dollars a piece for an adapters and cords. I mean, we got them for Hitachi, Kubota, Komatsu, then like, say all the highway equipment as well, and a lot of ag equipment, because I just didn't really know what I was going to get into. So that's why I went all in with Jaw Test, spent a lot of money on it. The interface, I mean, I've, I've shown it in some of our past videos. The interface on the laptop with their programming, it's really interactive, I guess. There's a lot of pictures. It's pretty easy to use, and I think that's why a lot of people are going to it, and a lot of people like it. One of the problems I had with it was that their tech support, in my opinion, sucks. It's Monday through Friday, 9 to 5 a.m. About 80% of the time, I think I'd call them for something. You get a voicemail, and then you get a call back like the next day or after the weekend, and I do a lot of work on the weekends. Uh, so if I got a customer on Saturday or Sunday, I mean, unless the truck's disabled, a lot of people aren't going to want to stay that long. It wasn't very useful having a tech support that has hours like that. When we're out here in the shops, you know, trucks are running 24-7 and all that type of stuff. So I got a problem, you know, a lot of times waiting until the next business day isn't an option. So that was something I didn't really like. Also, I found like with Cummins and Packard, sometimes you try to do different stuff, different tests. Uh, I know specifically like on Packard, like trying to do an injector cutout test, a lot of times it would actually, the ECM on the truck, the pack RCM would just flat out reject the command from jaw test. And I had that issue with doing that like turbo actuator installs and calibrations on Cummins engines with jaw test. It wouldn't start the test or it would reject it. Several issues there. And lastly, I guess would be the license fee with jaw test. I have quotes, but I'm gonna give you rough estimates as far as what it costs for the licenses annually. For me to keep, I was gonna look at just keeping the on highway side, which is trucks, commercial, commercial highway trucks. And I was going to be in like $1,800 a year for, for everything with all their, you know, all their informational stuff, uh, service procedures and all that, because there's several different packages. But to have the diagnostics with the updates and all the other information that goes with it for trucks, I was like $1,800. Now, if I wanted to keep construction equipment, ag equipment, material handling equipment and everything that went with it, I was in to like roughly $3,500 a year. So, so pretty pricey for licenses. And that's, again, one of the reasons why I decided to make the purchase on the uh, Snap-on Prolic Edge, because that is a one-time purchase, no more licenses. So, I mean, with all my licenses right now, I'm into, like, between five and $6,000. So my purchase of the uh, Prolic Edge will kind of pay for itself within two years of dropping a bunch of these other licenses and kind of going roughly three tools, I think, is what I'm going to go down to. So that's pretty much jaw test, guys. I mean, if you're in the ag side, they do a really good job. Like I said, John Deere is one of the worst ones to get into out there as far as electronics go. A lot of times you got to take it to the dealer and they're really the only ones. But uh, being from Europe, I believe, they've, uh, they've got different laws and stuff over there than we do in the U.S. So they've been able to circumvent a lot of the problems that we had here. And uh, like I said, with a lot of the ag equipment, they do a pretty good job with that. Okay, so next thing we're gonna talk about here, this is a NexIQ USB link to, this one is, I believe this is Bluetooth. Yeah, yeah, this one does Bluetooth as well. I always use the cord, I rarely use the Bluetooth. So this isn't actually software, this is just the COM adapter. And I use this COM adapter for uh, Cummins Insight Pro and also for Detroit Diagnostic Link. I believe they actually, like if you look at the, like the Cummins Inline 7 COM adapter, it looks exactly the same as this. So I think their NexIQ is actually making those for, I mean, don't quote me on that, but it, they look exactly the same. So I believe they actually make the, the Cummins COM adapter as well. So we're going to talk about uh, Cummins Insight Pro and then we're going to talk about Detroit Diagnostic Link. Okay, so first I'm going to talk about Cummins Insight Pro. It is a laptop-based program. It's Cummins OEM software. 
I use it quite a bit. The license is pretty reasonable if you get it through Cummins directly. And I'm gonna tell you, when I did mine earlier this year, it is a nightmare. It's gonna take you like six weeks to get it. And because they've got everything so screwed up to where you submit like an application form, then they send it to somebody, then, then finally like a month later, somebody from Colorado will call you or wherever the lady was at. And then uh, you'll pay 700, I think it was $770 for the license on that. And then they'll send you a code and you're done. But it, it takes forever for some reason. I don't know why you can't just get on the website, purchase it and they give you a license right there. Hope that happens in the future, but right now it is it is a long drawn out process for, for no reason in my opinion. Cummins Insight, I have the Pro Edition. Again, it's a laptop based program, which is something I don't really like because laptops can be fragile and you can drop them and break them, which I have a couple times. Insight Pro is, if you're born before 1990, it reminds me of like Windows 95 type programs. Seems really antiquated, day and age we live in right today. But it is very, very good for working on uh, Cummins ISXs, X15s, uh, QSB, you know, ISB 67s and all that stuff because it is actually their OEM software. Whenever I do a uh, turbo actuator install or uh, injector encoding and stuff like that, I always use uh, Cummins Insight because it is the OEM software. I mean, I do do some stuff with some other programs, but typically if I'm able to, uh, I always use uh, Insight on my common stuff. So, I mean, it's pretty reasonable for the price. I mean, 700, 770 bucks, I think is what it was, is, uh, is not too bad in the grand scheme of things. So I'm probably gonna keep my Insight subscription going on in the future. So there are a lot of other websites out there that actually will sell you Cummins Insight Pro or Detroit Diagnostic Links, and I'm not gonna name any of them. So just kind of be, leery about that they like want to charge you like double and there's a couple websites out there for insight pro like i said i can get it directly through cummins for like 770 and they want to charge you like 1495 or something and it's still the same wait time i mean they can't get it for you tomorrow it's the same wait that you would have waiting for it anyways with cummins process right now so just be leery of those things out there. I always like to go direct to the source to buy my software instead of going through a third party. I mean, I think they try to sell you like extra tech support and stuff like that. But with Cummins, I've had really good luck with them. I can call them directly and usually solve all my problems and I'm not paying somebody double the price for basically nothing in my opinion. Okay, so the second part of this uh, with the next IQ is gonna be Detroit Diagnostic Link. I went ahead and got this through my Freightliner dealer. My license on that is almost 1900 a year. It does everything you need to do on your uh, your, your Detroit, you know, DD15, DD13, older series 60s, you know, D-Deck 4, D-Deck 5s. Do all the emission stuff. And like I said, pretty much anything the dealer can do, I can pretty much do myself. So it's, Really useful, um, but the price point is kind of high in my opinion. It is a laptop based program. And again, kind of like Cummins Insight, it is kind of plain and not very interactive, I guess you can say, like some of the other programs that I have out here. So uh, it, it kind of is what it is. Uh, like I said, it's nice having OEM software. Whenever I'm working on something, I have OEM software. That's what I like to use versus an aftermarket. But again, with uh, going back to the Snap-on ProLink Edge, that Detroit Diagnostic Link software, I think, is like the same stuff that they have written in to the ProLink Edge without paying the $1,900 year license fee. So most likely, after my subscription ends with Diagnostic Link after this year, I'll probably go ahead and drop that and just disuse my ProLink Edge because it does pretty much everything the same. Okay, guys, so last but not least here is OTR Link. We've got a whole package here. This is the like master package to work on everything. So it has the uh, crossover adapter for the PAC RMX engines. We also got an OBD2 adapter for uh, some of your Volvos and Macs out there. They have those. This is a nice little package here. It's reasonable. It does have an annual a subscription. You know, once, I mean, it's not annual. It's whenever your license starts, you know, the next, if you, if you buy it in July, the next July, you got to pay again. At the time of this video, I believe it's around $600 roughly. And the tool itself is pretty inexpensive. I believe they're around $200 or so. We actually work with OTR and we do have a code to get some money off of that as well. So that's something you can check out. $600 guys a year in this business is, that's a lot less than a tow bill. This is a very versatile tool. It is a cell phone app based. So you'll plug this in, it's Bluetooth, and then uh, you have a subscription or an app on your cell phone and you can see real-time data, you can do forced regions. If you have a five mile an hour D-rate on your PACARs or your Detroits, stuff like that, it can clear that and at least get you 
off the highway to a shop or whatever you need to do to get your problem fixed without being in a situation where you lose total control and you're being towed somewhere you don't want to be towed to and all that bad stuff. So it's a really nice tool. I mean, it isn't super, super powerful. Like if you own doing injector coating and stuff like that, it isn't a tool that's gonna do that stuff. It's basically, like I said, a diagnostics and good insurance policy to get you out of trouble if, if need be. So I use this tool a lot. I mean, if I'm just running out to check something real quick, it saves me the time of hooking this up, you know, or bring, dragging out a laptop, or if I wanna do a quick regen on something, I can plug this in, get on my phone, start a regen and walk away, let it do its thing. Or if I'm working on multiple things, I can use one of my other tools to do that and can do smaller stuff with this. So this is really a good tool for your one truck owner operators, or if you got a fleet of five trucks or something like that. Or even if you run a shop like we do, it's nice just to have a second tool that's inexpensive to where you can do different things. Like if I, sometimes I have four or five trucks here. And like I said, it's nice if I just put a DPF in, want to do a regen and all that type of stuff. I can run off and do something else with my other tools. So it's uh, really useful in those type of situations. Okay guys, now time for recommendations here. It depends on really where you're coming from, what you're doing, whether you're, like I said, a one truck owner operator or you're running a shop with 10 bays and, and working on 15 trucks a day. For a shop owner or even a mobile service guy, I highly recommend the uh, Snap-on ProLink Edge. Cause like I said, they own Next IQ, so I believe a lot of that technology is being put into this and they write a lot of the software. So you're getting a lot of the same software, I believe, in one compact unit for one price with no license fees. Because these license fees will tear you up. Like I said, I'm in like five or six grand a year right now in licenses fees and we actually just started charging a $50 hookup fee now just to kind of help pay for those license fee for every truck that we work on. It's a lot of money every year. I mean, think about that. That's $500 a month that we're basically paying for license fees. This is a big upfront investment. Uh, I got a pretty good deal on it. I have a pretty good relationship with my Snap-on dealer. Master uh, kit that comes with everything. I got, there, it comes in a case with all the other cords and all that stuff as well. I believe they're almost 13,000, but I think I was out the door for right around 11-ish. The only thing about this, if you're working on heavy equipment, and uh, any, you know, ag equipment, stuff like that. It's basically for highway equipment, you know, your trucks that are out on the highway. And uh, this also does light medium as well. So that's kind of an added bonus also. Okay, so with jaw test, if you're a farmer or you work on the ag side and you have trucks as well, that is kind of where I would recommend jaw test. I mean, for solely highway applications, I would probably go with something else. Like I said, with the ProLink, or uh, just go OEM with the uh, Cummins if you're running Cummins engines or Caddy T, probably go with that. But if you're running ag equipment and heavy equipment, obstruction equipment as well, then I think jaw test could be a good unit for working on stuff other than just trucks. Um, but if you're just working on truck, I probably wouldn't recommend it as much. In my opinion, the license fee is kind of high for just trucks. Um, but if you're working on a wide, wide array of equipment, then I could probably recommend jaw test for you. Now we're going to go back to the uh, Next IQ USB Link 2, uh, which we kind of paired Cummins Insight Pro and Detroit Diagnostic Link with those. I'm never going to give up Cummins uh, Insight. I'm always going to have that around because the license fee is pretty reasonable. I like this COM adapter. I've never had any trouble with it. Works really well. Um, I haven't tried the Bluetooth on. I'm, I'm kind of a corded guy. I like, I'd rather plug something in than mess around with, with the pairing Bluetooth and all that type of stuff. Stuff. Detroit Diagnostic Link, I mean, unless you are running all Detroits, I probably wouldn't recommend it because you can, in an aftermarket, you can get most of the same stuff, especially, like I said, with the, with the ProLink, that's basically the same software in that is what you're getting with Diagnostic Link. And it's really, Diagnostic Link's pretty high, I think, $1,900 a year is pretty pricey. So, like I said, I'd stick with Cummins, even for an owner operator with just one truck, if you have a Cummins engine, you can buy this Com adapter. Be careful, I'm gonna say one thing about this Com adapter, guys. Be careful going on to eBay because there are a bunch of them on there for like two, 300 bucks and they are not genuine Next IQs. Um, I had a guy that brought one in. He actually bought it from somebody else. He brought it to me and wanted to do some horse trading on some work and stuff. And I got to looking at it. It wasn't a genuine Next IQ. It was like a knockoff from China or something. And the way I could tell was that the serial port here, they were reverse of this. So like my genuine Next IQ cord wouldn't go into that COM adapter because it had this fitting on this end and vice versa. So you could, that's one way you could tell. I mean, you can see this one here. It actually has the male pins on this side where this is the corded ones 
or the female pins. So be careful with the knockoff ones. They, a lot of them don't work, they're junk. I mean, to get a good one, you're gonna pay about $600 for these one time. And then like I said, if you own a Cummins and you're an operator or something, you can get your uh, Cummins Insight Pro subscription for 700 and something dollars a year. So I mean, that's, again, a lot cheaper than a tow bill. So and again, last but not least, um, we have the OTR, OTR Link. Nice little case here with everything in it. This is like the master set that comes with, again, with the Packer MX adapter, OBD2, and then your standard nine pin as well on the actual unit. So I recommend this for every owner operator out there. I know there's a subscription fee, but guys, you know, over 12 months, 600 bucks at the time of this video is, is very, very little. You know, that, that's $50 a month. You know, it's a pretty cheap insurance policy, in my opinion, to keep you going down the road or get you to the shop that you want to be at instead of on the back of a hook going somewhere you don't want to go and getting extorted for how many thousands of dollars. Like I said, it does regens, uh, clears codes, and can clear D-rates all in one little handy tool with your cell phone. You can also see real-time data. And those of you who watched me in the past, you know what I think real-time data is sometimes a lot more important than actually looking at codes because you can see what different sensors are doing, if temperatures are right, pressures are right, and all that stuff. And sometimes in a situation where you might not get a code, but there is a problem. So that real-time data is very valuable as well. Again, I recommend this for basically every owner operator out there. If you've got a small fleet, you know, three, four, five trucks, it's very handy to have as well. Pretty compact unit and reasonably priced. And furthermore, we got a code that we'll put in, in the uh, description down there that it gets you some money off and uh, it's helped support the channel as well. Okay guys, that's pretty much all I have today. That's uh, my uh, input there and uh, a little bit of advice and all that good stuff. If you're a uh, owner operator or small shop owner or big shop owner, uh, we'd be glad to, to hear your comments and thoughts and what you guys are using down in the comments uh, to kind of share that with everybody else out here. So like I said, this is just what we're using. I mean, I know there's other stuff out there and we'd be glad to hear about those things. So thanks for watching guys. We appreciate all the support. Uh, again, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for the updates and like the video and we'll see you next time.